Hey guys! It's been a while since I've sat down and dedicated time to filming a video specifically for YouTube, so hi! How are you guys? I hope everyone's doing well. I know that's easier said than done during this crazy time, um, but that's exactly why I wanted to get on here. I wanted to talk a little bit today about these unsettling times and what it means for your potential wedding and what you should be thinking about doing, what are your courses of action, things like that. As a lot of you know, I specialize in bridal and special event hair and makeup. So that is the biggest part of my business. And although right now we are also suffering and it is a tricky time for small businesses, especially businesses that rely on being like this close to someone's face, um, I wanted to make sure that brides are taken care of. That's my first and foremost responsibility right now is easing my bride's stress. Um, I have had to reschedule all March, April, and May weddings and even some June. And at this point, it is a big question mark of how long this virus will stay around, how big of an impact it'll have, and how long everybody is kind of going to be living their new normal right now. So um, I just want to give some options and some insight that you may not have thought of if you are also in this predicament of potentially having to postpone or reschedule your wedding. First and foremost, please postpone, do not cancel. This is for a couple of reasons. One is for you. Obviously, we still want you to have an amazing wedding, an amazing time, and you know, you've put all this work into it. A lot of people put one, two years, three years into this wedding. You still want to enjoy it. Postponing doesn't mean it won't happen. It'll just happen later. So that's still a better option. Obviously, the other thing is the events industry is just trying to save each other, basically. Um, when it comes to postpone, don't cancel, that's kind of the campaign that's going around the events um, and wedding industry um, just because obviously if you cancel that does further hurt us as well obviously i don't want that to be the biggest thing here the biggest takeaway because whatever the better option is for you that's what you have to do um, but we truly do hope that you postpone and that we can still be a part of your day to ensure that we can be a part of your day and that the vendors that you so meticulously picked out can still be a part of your day um, you may have to be a little bit more flexible when it comes to when you postpone. Obviously, you want to talk to your venue first. Your venue is always first and foremost, just like it was the first one you probably booked. That's going to dictate what dates you have as options. So then, once you get a few options, I would say reach out to all of your other vendors and be like, hey, really love you, still want you a part of this, but this is what's happening. These are a few dates that we have. Can you do any of these? And kind of get a survey of what everybody can do. Um, I've had it both ways where some brides, they gave me options and some brides were like, this is all I could get, please say you can still do it. So um, I totally understand it could go the other way as well. Also prioritize the vendors that you love the most or that are the most important to you or sometimes that you put the biggest deposit down on. I had one bride that I had to reschedule to the most popular date this year and I had to pull some strings and, and make sure that I was doing all I could um, as far as booking my team with her because she was basing it on the person that she did the biggest deposit with, which I totally understand because obviously you might lose some money if you lose some of your vendors and you already put a deposit down. So totally understand that, so prioritize that as well. Now when it comes to options to rescheduling, hear me out. So first of all, think of Thursdays or Sundays, okay? I will say I got married on a Sunday last year and it was wonderful, okay? It was still amazing and still spectacular, still a ball. It was great, okay? So Sunday, not a big deal. I would say just if you can on a Sunday, try and make it a little bit earlier in the day versus, um, you know, going till 11 or 12 o'clock at night unless you want your guests to leave super early. Then there's the option of a Thursday wedding. If you pick a Thursday, chances are you're going to secure basically all of your vendors. If getting all of your current vendors to your new date is your priority, Thursday is really good. Um, Thursday has actually become increasingly popular for us for some reason, but not to the point where we can't accommodate. So Thursdays are really fun because encourage people to take like a three day weekend, take Friday off, like it's just a lot of fun. It's close enough to the weekend too, so that if they can't get work off, 
it's only one day, like if they work a nine to five job. So Thursday weddings are still very big. So make that an option. Consider a November or December wedding. So a lot of people right now are looking into rescheduling into like July, August, September, October, November. Um, those are very popular months is the thing. So it can get trickier, especially if you want to keep it on a Friday or a Saturday, if you are trying to book in those months. Um, I know here in New England, September and October are the most popular months at this point, at least for me and for a lot of people. So if you're looking into September and October, you might have a harder time if you're not flexible on the Thursday thing. So if you say you want a Friday, Saturday or Sunday, you might have more luck in November or December because those are more of our off season. It's where we have a couple weddings here and there, but it's not as poppin' as like in the summer and fall. Again, I'll say from personal experience, I got married December 15th and it was amazing. Yeah, it was cold for our pictures, um, but that was it. We had an indoor ceremony, so I know sometimes that could be a deal breaker, but it was still beautiful. Everything was set up amazing. It worked really well. They, they worked like a well-oiled machine, so they knew what they were doing and it was awesome okay and i even had like this cute little like shawl because i was like cold outside and so that was in some of my pictures and it worked out great and if you have an amazing bridal party then they'll put up with the pictures for like a half hour and they'll be good so think about it think about a colder day wedding it's still worth it also fyi i was really nervous about snow happening on my big day um, a lot of people are nervous about rain. I was nervous about snow because I wanted, I didn't want half the people to show up because most of my people probably wouldn't have driven in the snow. It did not snow. And honestly, we had a really mild winter anyway this whole winter, but typically November and December, you don't see a lot of snow anyway, so you're probably safer there. If all else fails and you can't reschedule for this year, put it into next year. I've already had a couple brides who have rescheduled basically like a whole year out um, so I had like a June 20th wedding and she rescheduled to June 26th of next year. Um, so some people just want to keep the same month. Some people want to keep the same date because maybe it's your anniversary. I did that. December 15th was our anniversary already. So I totally understand that. So if that's you, um, or maybe you just want to get past this whole pandemic thing and you're not sure how long it'll take and you feel safer going out a year, by all means, go out a year because chances are, we can more easily accommodate you then if you go a little farther out as it is. Lastly, consider a delayed or a later reception. So this option is more of like you get married now, so you probably do an elopement with a justice of the peace, um, you and just them, or depending on the state you live in, if you still need a witness or two. So that way you are still way under the limit right now. You're not putting too many people at risk. You're pretty much social distancing. Um, but you're getting married legally. Um, I know here in Connecticut, they've already made it so that you don't have to, um, go to the town you live in or no, the town that you're getting married in to get the marriage certificate anymore. You could just get it where you live to make it easier. And so people aren't like roaming all around. So check if that's the case, because that makes it easier. Um, but do this elope, have a little intimate thing maybe broadcast it do it online a lot i've seen people doing that um i even saw an adorable wedding where they had their first dance in the middle of the street and people were in their cars like playing the music and it was cute do that for now and then have a reception next year or the year after you know have a big party then people do that anyway you know some people they didn't have the financial means to have a big blowout and so they'll get married legally but then they'll have a party later do that. I mean, that way you can have all your loved ones, everybody's safe, everybody's healthy, everybody's happy. But you, if you really want to still be like actual married right now and you don't want to sacrifice that, or maybe you already got your marriage certificate and it's going to expire, go ahead. Do that. I mean, there you go. Best of both worlds. So I had already done a blog post about this very topic a couple weeks ago, but I wanted to make sure I got on here and just talked about it again. Um, I want to reach as many people as possible when it comes to helping with this predicament because I know it's really stressful um, and I know it's pretty heartbreaking right now. So I hope that I gave you some food for thought. It's not over. You know what I mean? Like if you have to reschedule your wedding, 
it's not over. You are still going to have an amazing, beautiful, awesome wedding with all the people you love there, but just think about how strategically, how can you make that work? You know, what is the best case to do that you can keep your vendors and you can still have your loved ones there and it's going to be awesome. So just think about it. But I hope this video was helpful and I have missed filming videos. So it's great to be back. Um, please, also, if you are one of my longtime viewers, or even if you're not, leave a comment below of videos you want to see from me. I need ideas. I need to get back on YouTube. Um, I've been everywhere else. I actually have really gotten into TikTok. So if you are on TikTok and you're not following me, it's at LA Page Makeup and you need to follow me because I'm posting most days, like five or six days a week. And I mean, it is so fun. It's so creative, it's so silly. It's a great escape during this stress. So I'm really enjoying it. I might post a few on here, so let me know if you wanna see them. But um, other than that, let me know some ideas of stuff you wanna see, whether it's reviews or a tutorial or, I don't know, thoughts on stuff, whatever. Like I'd love to just, put some more content out on YouTube again. So let me hear your thoughts in the comments down below, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.